On today's Superdog video, we embark on an exhilarating ride that will unleash your imagination and make you see our four-legged pals in a whole new light. Think dogs are just adorable goofballs? Think again. Here we will explain how dogs are embodiment of the Egyptian god of the underworld, Anubis's legendary spirit. The relationship between dogs and the Egyptian god Anubis can be traced back to the ancient Egyptian mythology, where dogs have a symbolic and cultural link to Anubis through their shared characteristics and role in the society of the ancient Egyptians. In ancient Egyptian religion, the deity Anubis is commonly depicted as a canine or a man with a canine head. Anubis, the Egyptian god of the underworld and mummification was often portrayed in black. Black was a color that had a lot of meaning in Egyptian culture. It meant rejuvenation, life, fertile soil, and even the discoloration of the body after the embalming process. Anubis is closely linked to his brother Wepwawayet, who is another Egyptian deity depicted with the head of a canine or in canine form, but with a gray or white coat, he was known as the Opener of the Ways, a god associated with war, hunting, and the leading of the deceased into the afterlife. The similarities between Anubis and Wepwawet, particularly their connection to dogs, led historians to speculate that these figures eventually merged into a single deity in the collective consciousness of ancient Egyptians. In the dialogues of the ancient Greek philosopher Plato, Socrates frequently employs oaths that invoke the dog, such as by the dog and by the dog of Egypt. These oaths serve multiple purposes, both as a rhetorical device to emphasize a point and as an appeal to Anubis, the Egyptian god associated with dogs, as an arbiter of truth in the realm of the underworld. By including the dog in his vows, Socrates is drawing upon the symbolism and associations that the ancient Greeks attributed to dogs. Dogs were seen as loyal, protective, and keenly perceptive creatures, possessing qualities that aligned with Socrates' pursuit of truth and wisdom. When he swears by the dogs of Egypt, Socrates is appealing to the divine power and knowledge of Anubis. He sees Anubis as the ultimate arbiter and emphasizes the importance of truth-seeking and justice. The ancient Egyptians had a strong admiration for dogs and acknowledged their remarkable capabilities. One notable example is an early tomb painting from around 3500 BCE, which depicts a man walking his dog on a leash. This scene resonates with the familiar sight of a person walking their dog, even in our modern-day context. The fact that we would recognize this scene today is a testament to the long-standing bond between people and dogs. Throughout history and cultures, dogs have always been trusted companions and have played a variety of roles in our lives. Dogs were highly valued in ancient Egyptian society and played a prominent role in various facets of Egyptian life, such as religious ceremonies and symbolic motifs. One breed that was especially popular was the Tsem. It's believed to be the ancestors of today's African Greyhound and has been around for at least 7,000 years. The Taysem was a sacred dog and had a lot of cultural and religious significance. It was often featured in Egyptian art and murals, as well as burial tombs, which shows how close the ancient Egyptians were to their dogs. The Taysem is a slender and athletic breed similar to the Pharaoh Hound, and it has a graceful and elegant look that the ancient Egyptians were drawn to. Dogs didn't just have a special place in ancient Egypt. They were considered to have magical and protective powers like being able to ward off evil spirits and even help the dead in their afterlife. They were also thought to have healing powers, and having a dog in the house was thought to bring luck and blessings. Hold on to your seats as we shine the spotlight on our content's dynamic partner. Made from 100% natural beef, Slow roasted for irresistible flavor, nutrition, and long-lasting enjoyment. Introducing Real Bully Sticks. Get yours today and give your dog the experience they deserve. Egyptian hieroglyphs and artwork depict Anubis as a dog with characteristics similar to certain dog breeds, such as a slim body shape, long legs, and tall pointed ears, similar to the pharaoh hound. Various artistic depictions of Anubis show him as a dark-colored dog with pointed ears, a slender body, and the color black. Anubis is also sometimes depicted as an Egyptian jackal, a native animal of Egypt with characteristics similar to those of a dog. Jackals and dogs are both members of the family Canidae, 
dogs, and their anatomy is very similar. Anubis may be depicted as a full-bodied jackal or simply the jackal's head combined with a human body. Depending on the art style, the religious context, and the regional preferences in ancient Egypt, depictions of Anubis with a jackal head often emphasize the connection between death and the funerary practices associated with it. No matter if you call him a black dog, jackal, or something else, Anubis is a powerful figure who rules over the underworld and represents all the things you'd want in a dog, loyalty, protection, and guidance. While there is no definitive dog breed that represents Anubis in Egyptian mythology, and commonly Anubis is often associated with a jackal in Egyptian art and symbolism due to the jackal's natural association with death and funerary rituals. When looking at modern dog breeds, there are several that bear some similarities to the Anubis depictions in ancient Egyptian art. The pharaoh hound and the Basenji dog are often mentioned as the most similar to the ancient Anubis depictions. These dogs share a slim body shape, a sleek appearance, and high, pointed ears. The Greyhound and the Doberman Pinscher are also associated with Anubis because they have a lean build and slim features. These dogs may not look like the Pharaoh Hound or the Basenji, but they are sometimes said to look like Anubis. It's important to remember that the connections between specific dog breeds and ancient deities like Anubis are largely subjective interpretations based on physical similarities. The ancient Egyptians did not have specific dog breeds as we do today, and their depictions of Anubis were likely symbolic rather than based on the physical appearance of a specific dog breed. Just as Anubis guided souls on their journey, dogs have long been hailed as guardians and protectors. But the connection between Anubis and dogs goes even deeper than that. Ancient Egyptians thought dogs had special noses they believed that dogs had the ability to detect the scent of death, making them invaluable in protecting the living from unseen dangers. In today's world, we see the manifestation of Anubis's divine attributes in the amazing dogs we see all around us. From the search and rescue dogs that bravely traverse dangerous terrain to find and rescue those in distress, to the therapy dogs that bring solace and healing to those in need, and even the dogs that bravely serve alongside our military forces, these amazing dogs, with their extraordinary skills and unwavering loyalty, not only serve and protect us, but they also bring us great joy and companionship. They embody the eternal qualities of Anubis, and they remind us of the strong bond between dogs and dogs' divine heritage. If you're loving what you're seeing, make sure to show us some love. Just hit that like button, subscribe, and ring that notification bell. It's the easiest way to stay updated and never miss out on our latest content. So go ahead, like, subscribe, and ring that bell. Thanks for your support.